Welcome to a cheeky dose of football. You're here with myself, Big J, Cheeky Sport Keen, and today we have a special guest of us, Rats friend of the show, Rats the Madden. That's my gun, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you guys know what it is. We're here to just talk about football, everything that's been going on. Um, we're recording this on the day that Man- um, Arsenal, sorry, are playing Crystal Palace. Currently, currently one nil to Palace. Yes. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what I go on at the end of the show. <laughs> All right, topic one, yeah. Would David Moyes slap the reporter in front of his daughter? Lyrics. Lyrics. <laughs> hey, listen, that's Lyrics. not my Lyrics. bars, Tom. That's not I, my bars, ain't it, right? Uh, <laughs> All right, basically, man. yeah, um, David Moyes recently got caught kind of off camera. It was like after mm-hmm. the interview and that, saying, I was trying to put on a Scottish accent, but man can't yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah, sure. But he said, yeah, I, can, <laughs> I, I, I can do it, I can do it. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, if you're not careful, you get a wee oh. flash. <laughs> What do we think about um, David Moyes saying that? It was all banter. What do you think? It was 100% banter. Like, 100% banter. He did eh? apologise a few days off. Yeah, but come on. It's, bro, it's football, isn't it? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but why do you think he's going to slap the the funny thing about it though is Moyes. Moyes is going to like he's slapping up everyone now. He's like, you're getting weak flat. Man's going to like he's been slapping up. Yeah, you have to leave Moyes alone. He was a side man at United. Yeah. Then he went and got knocked in Spain. Then he comes to some relegation club trying to big up his chest, isn't it? That's what happened. Oh, and I'm going to upset a few people, but you know what? It's football, isn't it? Everyone's like, oh, like she's a female. If it was a guy, no one would have said And she did say anything. something cheeky. I and the thing is, yeah, cheeky. like... Yeah, part of when you're part of that football environment, whether you like it or not, you're, it's fair game for banter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's, it's, it's all bans, man. It was only banter, it was only a joke. David Moyes did come out and apologise and stuff in the end anyway, so yeah man. Manchester United and Mourinho, Manchester City and Pep. Who's been worse? Simple. No 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 no, because at the end of the day, some people think that because well, we're out we're, we're arguing at the moment of who spent more money, yeah? And obviously both of these guys are not Pep fans. He calls him fraudiola, yep. and these guys have been saying Pep's a fraud since the, since the season began. All right, I really think that they're both liars. I think Pep probably one of the best managers in the league. Yeah, Obviously, I think I think Mourinho is. Yeah, check man's CV. Yeah, yeah, his CV. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's only coached top teams, and he's done well. It doesn't yeah, matter. He's done well. All no, players, it does matter. All it does players matter. say matter. that he's coach. the best coach. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. That's like saying, all right, cool, man's gonna play football manager. I'm Barcelona. I'm by me. Exactly. Does that mean I'm the best manager to win? <laughs> Manchester City have spent 170 million yeah. and Manchester United have spent 145 million. Yeah. And we, we overpaid Bro, for one player. Them man, That's what we done. Them man sold Joe Hart and brought in Bambi on ice, fam. Exactly. <laughs> Bravo. Bravo. Wait, and worse, the man thinks he's won the best in the league. No, no, he's benching now. Though. And then on top of that, he's not that, even that more crazy. He's not no, no, he he now. bench someone who says he's, he's top five goals in the world. He didn't say that. Bro, do you want me to pull up the figure? <laughs> he didn't say that. Wait, he didn't say He didn't say He didn't say Wait, you're saying he didn't say he's one of the best goalkeepers in the world. He's yes or that, no? Yeah, he didn't he say that. Yes or no? no, no he's no, that the England number one that I'm brought in. Bro, I'm bringing it up now. Listen, listen. All right, listen. Forget the players, yeah? Who has been worse? No, you can't forget the players. Mourinho, who has been drawing all season, is in sixth place. Or Manchester. Oh, my gosh. But he just said he bought the players. No, but he inherited a better squad to begin with. He bought the right And then he bought more players. Man City. There we go. There we go. And Pep Guardiola says recall, but... One of the best in the world. Yeah, what's that? You said top five, though. If you read the article, he says one of the best Mabla in the world. Then the top top five, top five. Then the reporter says, and then he names some goalkeepers, and he said, yes, he's up there with those those goalkeepers, and he names four goalkeepers. The reporter. This is what I'm trying to say about Mourinho. Yeah. Mourinho knows that Mourinho, 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 and he says it. Bro, yeah, oh, he knows sure. Yeah, no, he knows oh, sure don't pull his oh. weight. He says it. So yeah. what? Listen, that's listen. it. And you both, basically, you both are saying that that's a good thing, all right? Yeah, it's a Rats very good thing, like, you, you both think that that's a good thing. It's a very good thing, 100%. All right, all right, all right, fair enough. And I'm basically saying that Pep doesn't do that. He's st- I feel like it, the players that... He cuddles players. That he's cuddles players. Yeah, and then he hides on he the back like under his coat. Like, yet, yet, yet Mourinho's <laughs> the only guy <laughs> yeah, 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 who's <laughs> never been at a club longer than two years because all the players Three years. fall out of love <laughs> with him. Hey, facts or not? Jay, Jay. Facts or not? Yeah, yeah fact, all right. Facts or not? I didn't say one fact. That's it. 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 That's it.
and they wanted Chelsea. Him. Real Madrid offered him Chelsea happened to my squad. Yeah. And Chelsea came back to him. So there's a reason and James, why man keep James, coming back. And everything. There's never been a who's the, the best manager in the world, though. Who built? He's one of the best managers in the world. That's right. No, listen, he's one of the best managers in the world. Facts, yeah. Man, I can't believe you want to say Who built the strongest? And this is controversial, but it's the truth. Who built the strongest Premier League team in a league season? Yeah, based on the success that they had in the league season. Yeah, it is Pe- is Jose Mourinho just, in 2004, 2005. Not the Invincibles. Yeah, and the reason that is is because they had the highest points. They got points 105 and points. And yeah, points they're the strongest and team. And he done it at Real Madrid too. Yeah, not the Invincibles. Yeah, for and anyone he done it at Real Madrid. Because they got bare jaws. Yeah, that's why. Like Man United are getting right now. Yeah, just exactly. saying. Just saying that Mourinho's also <laughs> Mourinho's go. gone to Inter Milan. Left big club, we know what Inter Milan are. Real Madrid, but you lot are getting on. That was in Inter Milan, Barcelona. Yeah, but Inter Milan also, weren't the strongest hey, team in the no, 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 they weren't. No, they weren't. They were not on top of that. Jose promoted the Division One team to the Prem. Yeah, and won the Then got the Porto. Then got the Porto job. And then done the. And then won the UEFA Cup. Wait, wait. Won the UEFA Cup. Then the next season. Then done the treble. Different. You know, you know, I know, but I know. Where did Pep go? Where did Pep go? Pep done got. He done Barca B for one season. Exactly. Then got the first team job, and then got Bayern Munich. Right? And what's Man City the... was his first test, and exactly. Max David. Exactly. All right. Well, we know first what these We know what these guys think. Let us know what you think. Yeah. Who's been better, Manchester United and Mourinho? Or Manchester City and Pep Guardiola. Let us know what you think. Who's the not who's the better manager? Because Mourinho is the better manager. But I'm saying who's been better this season? All right, the lads and I were just about. Well, basically, it's two 0 Two 0 to Crystal Palace. Oh my God. Aladici. Aye, right, Aladici is giving Wenger the whooping. Aye, Arsenal fan TV. Aye. Oh, hey. Wow. We got chewing in after. Trust hey, me. you guys got popcorn, yeah? yeah, yeah. It's lit. All right, basically, yeah, <laughs> we're going to be talking about Gareth Southgate next. I want to know what you guys think of him as an Eng- the England manager. Um, how well do you think he's doing? How well do you think he will do? Yeah. Um, I like him because he brought in Defoe. Yeah, exactly. I'm not going to lie. When he brought in Jermaine yeah, Defoe, yeah, yeah. and after Jermaine Defoe's form, there was something in me that made me just think, yeah, well done, Southgate. But it shows like, that he's watching the games and he's picking Re- them on merit. Um, um, because old England yeah, yeah. managers, they'll pick the same squad. No the matter same squad, no matter what. Do you know what I mean? Where Southgate like, Ross Barkley that. ain't been in the squad, and rightly so, because he's playing better now. Yeah. But Ross Barkley, yeah, he has been playing good like, yeah, 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 yeah. Not compared to the Whereas last before, Barkley yeah. was always there. Yeah, not and, and, it's good. and it's good, because and players like Walcott thought he would get in the team. Yeah, and then he didn't. And he didn't. And the thing is, yeah, this is the way the England team should be. I'm pure, I'm pure. Listen, I'm pure form. That's what it's about. But that's what it's about. Wow, that's a lie. Yes, yeah. 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 Wembley. They can't go in Wembley. Exactly. Well, England always do well in the qualifiers and that, so it's too early to judge how South gets do. Yeah, yeah. However, from what I've seen, in all the games that he's coached. We've seen different formations, we've seen different ideas. It's more than we've ever seen from any England manager. It's always been 4 yeah, 4 especially two. the way he's 4 4 2, uh, same, boring. And, and, and Andy Carroll up front, then swapping for Peter Crouch, and it's all so predictable, bro. At what? least we're trying different things. We're playing to our strengths, which yeah. is what we've never done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying? And he's got ideas, man. Give the guy time. 3 0! 3 0! 3 0! 3 0! 3 0! 3 0! 3 0! <laughs> All right, fantastic! It's a great, it's a great week in a um, in the oh Premier League. Oh my days! How are you getting smacked up? Um, I think, I think this means that. Arsenal go down to That six. means I'm cancelling my football roundup video. It's just going to be an Arsenal roasting. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> hey man, guys, right, listen, that's it. That is it. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna cut to the corn corner. All right, that is it. Arsenal <laughs> loses. <laughs> All right, welcome to the corn corner. This is the part of the show where we read out your comments and all that. That's why it's important to comment on all the topics on the show. All right, let's start with the corn corner because it's been a mad show. All right, cool. <laughs> um, First comment is, I've been feeling bare depressed lately, but seeing both them hairlines, I see both them hairlines made me fully appreciate life. <laughs> 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 and, that's, <laughs> and that's from David Brooks. And they talk about man like Chris and man like Akeem, yeah? Bro, obviously, David, life ain't so bad, you get me? As you can tell, Chris and Akeem are stressed and depressed, and that is why their hairline is depressed is people. Big. That's why their wig is moving to yesterday, yeah? So I'll tell you what, life is good, my brother. You understand? Life is good. But David. my comment about that, David, listen. Stop. He didn't put a picture up, so don't try and try. Yeah, them man always got them. He's got egg profile. 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 He
Oh, yes, I ain't even going to face you, man. Big man thing. No, I'm saying, oh, allow it. You couldn't even show your face and you're making it. No, I can't rate that. I can't rate that. Cool. Can't right, here's the next one. Right, the next one's um, a key, man. I'll let you get the last one. All right, cool. Yeah. So this is from Akbar203. Yeah, he's chill and he got his picture. Agree with Akeem. Yeah. <laughs> big up, big up, big up yourself, yeah? If you call Leicester winning league fluke, Invincibles are a fluke. So that's sh- that's to Chris, basically, who... I've never looked at it that yeah, way. That's it. Did, yeah? I, did, I no, say, did, say that. did I not say there was a bit of fluke involved? Bro, what, in what? In Invincibles? Yeah, okay, there, 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 was, there was a massive fluke involved. However, you, you can't, you can't, all the time. You can't take that away from Arsenal the same way you can't no, take you it can't. away from Leicester. You can't. Right. Cameron Bibb, another no egg, face on the profile. Yeah, another egg, no another face, egg profile. No face, you no man face. need to stop that, you know. Because <laughs> <laughs> like I swear, they're always the one with a wicked yeah, talk, you know, and they've got nothing. <laughs> this is the long one still. All right, Wenger's done bits for the club, so he's an Arsenal fan. But he hasn't won the league in 10 plus years buying players. Seems like a difficulty for Wenger. That's who's got no money. <laughs> and he's using old fashioned training methods on players. Well, you acting like you're daring training. Bro. Which I don't agree with. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because no matter how much Arsenal hold licks, bruv, they've always played a good brand of football. They always have, blood. I don't yeah, care. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, <laughs> when man are like dead training methods, bruv. <laughs> but how do you know training methods, bruv? Bruv, like, really? really? You don't do what I'm I don't I'm even like hilarious. Arsenal, but when Arsenal are ready to bop the ball, bruv, like, no one in the league bops the ball like them. Yeah, bruv. but still, they've like, done no it in a while. I, I want to know what this guy That's true, bruv, man. When, when, that's true. When they turned man over, yeah? It looks mad. Remember when they 3 nailed us at half time, fam? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember the point? Do you remember the right, football exactly. in that match? Yeah, that is like this. No, they they man was like, pop, pop, pop. They weren't even looking. They were like, this is mad. Man was chasing the shadows. That was mad. No, no, no. I don't agree with that. Do you know what you're talking about for me? I don't agree with that. I remember the match day analysis, um, the match of the day analysis, yeah? They were like, that's when they were talking about the triangles. And then when the man gets the ball, there's two options. Triangles. 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 And, and, and you'll get worse. And you'll get worse, bro. Like, there's not a manager out there that can spend as little money that he spends and, and, and get results. And play the same quality of football. And that's it. it. When you're going to the Emirates here yeah, to see man and the football's not good and you're not winning, winning. anything, like, what, what have you got to look forward to, fam? I agree. Bro. You're crazy. Hey, man. man. That was the corn corner. Make sure you leave a comment. Let the corn loose, man. And we'll read out the comment if they're good enough. All right? That was another episode of a cheeky dose of football. Thank you, Rants and Bats, no for coming through as well. Make sure you give them the socials and that, obviously. Follow them on everything. Rants and Bats. Yes, Rants and Bats. Yes, Rants and Bats. Yes, Rants and Bats. Rants and Bats on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. YouTube. If you just type Rants and Bats in YouTube, you got it, man. Just yeah, if man. If you type it in any of them, it will come up anyway. Yeah, so man. Just do you, do you your Googles, man. Yeah. Google's. Obviously, you've been here with myself, Big J, Cheeky Sport Team. All right, man. Make sure you follow at Grand Daily as well on Twitter, on Instagram. All right, big up them as well. It's all love, Cheeky Sport. Peace. <laughs> well, we won the fucking treble, blood, and we scored two goals in injury time. You think that worked up? Nah, nah, nah. It's a mix of everything. It's it a mix was, of it it was, 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 determination, motivation, ambition, power, participation, everything. There was a lot of luck involved, blood. We can handle it. I'm seeing Arsenal fans blowing up my phone. Sick of it.